Hello student, today's topic is a poetry, a photograph by Shirley Tolson from the book Hornbill. This poem deals with the commonplace theme of impermanence of life. Here the poet is looking at a photograph of her mother and her mind is filled with the past memories. So here the lines of the poems are. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hand and she the big girl some 12 years or so. In these lines, the cardboard refers to the photograph of the poet's mother and who is no more. When the poet looks at the photograph, her mind is filled with past memories. It was when the two girl cousin went peddling. So the photograph was taken when one day the poet's mother along with her cousin went for paddling in a sea beach. It was their sea holiday and each one holding one of my mother's hand. You can see in the picture the mother is the middle one in the middle one position and on either side of her the cousin of her mother holding her hands and she the big girl. Here the mother is the eldest of the three and some 12 years or so it means at the time when the photograph was taken the mother was 12 years old. So again we will see the meaning of the lines. Here the poet is looking at a photograph and she was recalling the event when her mother went paddling with her two cousins. It was a sea holiday. The mother was somehow 12 years old at the time when the photograph was taken. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. Firstly, all three stood still to smile through their hair. You can see that. Here is repetition of S and TH sound. And what is repetition? It is alliteration. Alliteration is the close repetition of the same sound in a line. So all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. So here the uncle was capturing the photograph and all these three girls were smiling through their hair at the time they are in the sea beach and the breeze ruffled their hair. A sweet face my mother's that was before I was born. Here the poet is saying that her mother's face was quite pleasant to look at then and it was before the birth of the poet. Next and the sea which appears to have changed less wash their terribly transient feet. As they were standing in a beach, the waves, the sea waves washed away the mother's footprint soon after they were formed. The girls themselves were removed by the tide of time because at present the sea was still there but the mother and the cousin were no more. So transience of human life and everything connected with it is a sad fact which has to be accepted. Here there is one more thing. The sea which formed the background of the photograph has not changed over the years. Since that time washing of their footprints varies. The mother in the photograph is dead. It is too clear that human life is transient as compared to the permanence of nature. So, there is alliteration and we talked about one important thing. One day when the human being is no more, what is left behind are sweet and sore memories which are evoked by some photographs like that the poet is looking at a photograph and recalling her memories. 
Some 20, 30 years later, she would laugh at the snapshot, see Batty and Dolly, she would say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past, mine in her laughter, both worry with the labored ease of loss. After about 20 or 30 years, the poet's mother would laugh at the photograph and pointing to her cousin. Batty and Dolly are the names of mother's cousin. The poet at this time thinking that when her mother at her young age would have seen the photograph, she must be laughing as they were dressed up beautifully for beach on that day. The sea holiday was her past, mine in her laughter. So the sea holiday was her mother's, poet's mother's past. And the laughter of the mother is now past for the poet. When the mother is no more, the poet looks at the photograph and recalls how her mother would laugh innocently at the sight of the photograph. Both worry with the uh, labored ease of loss. Both moments are now permanently etched on poet's mind with a feeling of eternal loss. It is simplified that change and that are unavoidable. The poet is compelled to accept the loss with ease. Now, she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. And of these circumstances, there is nothing to be to say at all. It's silent silences. Here the poet's mother is long dead. And there is nothing much to be said about the said event. It's silent silences. This silence reveal human helplessness against the harshness of death. When the poet looks at the photograph, the poet is lost in the memories of her mother. The photograph is silent. Its silence is overwhelming. It makes the poet mute. The paradox involved in the line helps convey her sense of anguish. Okay. Now, let me tell you one more thing. That there are three stanzas in this poem. And the three stanzas depict three different phases. The first stanza depicts the poet's mother when she was a pretty young girl as shown by her photograph. The second stanza depicts the memory of her middle-aged mother laughing at her own photograph. And the third stanza depicts his sadness and loneliness after his, her mother's death. So this poem deals with the commonplace theme of impermanence of life. With time, men's life changes and comes to an end, whereas nature remains unchanged. What is left behind are sweet and sore memories, which are often evoked by some photograph as in this poem. Thank you.